Hello, welcome back to my channel. It's been like a couple of weeks since I filmed, so I feel kind of weird, honestly. But I'm glad to be back. Today we got some fun stuff. I got some makeup. I spoiled myself. I got some goodies. We got MAC, we got Anastasia, we got Fenty. I'm so excited. I'm gonna do some swatches. I'm gonna tell you why I got some stuff. Got my paper towels and all that good stuff. Yes, I just got off of work. When you don't feel like doing makeup, you just put on some glasses. So if you wanna see what I got, just keep on watching. Get started. Who do I wanna start with? really don't know who to start with okay i think i want to start with abh because they're like my fave so it's abh and i got some goodies from them so i decided to try their dip brow the power duo and i got the mini dip brow gel and the brow wiz and it looks like this is in the color dark brown looks good open it I think yeah these are mini because the pencil's like really skinny but it's got a spoolie on one end and it's got the pencil on the other end it's little and then a brow gel y'all I'm scared of brow gel because like I get it everywhere Let's see how big. Oh, but this seems manageable. Like this kind. Hmm. I'm excited to try this. I know I love brows. Like, that's a minimum for me. Like, brows and some eyeshadow and a lip gloss. And some mascara, of course. You can leave the house. Then I have this warm taupe eyeshadow that I did not order did not order this it looks ashy on camera I didn't want this it was supposed to be the Norvina loose glitter in green and I had to email customer service and they shipped it right out and told me to keep this whatever my order came with like a sample size of the eye primer by them oh and I also got some glitter adhesive because like all the tubers love Anastasia glitter adhesive and this was like $18 but these are decent size I'm excited to try this I just felt like I needed it does that make sense like for eye looks and then I told y'all I was gonna pick up another y'all like their packaging is like so cute but anyways I told y'all I was gonna get a darker shade of the foundation let's see what this looks like this looks good. This looks good. Basically, I guess I needed like a summer shade. It's a little bit dark, but yeah, that's what I needed it for though. For when I get my tan, because I'm by the pool all the time. I'm finna get some, some darkness. Okay, and then last but not least oh my gosh y'all look at the packaging i picked up the norvina palette and it opens up like this how freaking stunning and it comes with like i've got the one where it comes with like oh this is like the pr i guess but like i got the one that came with the full eye primer I'm going to open that up so y'all can see. The mini one is just going to be like a backup, I guess. I've never used their eye primer, but I hear good things. But it comes in like white. It comes like this. So I got that. And now let's open up this palette. Oh my gosh, y'all look at the packaging. It is so cute. I cannot. I can not. Jeez, this like packaged really good. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. So, this is what she looks like. 
try not to like blind you with the mirror but omg this is beautiful this is the volume three artistry palette by um norvina the norvina collection it comes with a big old mirror this is just beautiful omg do y'all want swatches i mean we're here we're here let's do this green it's like butter Okay, let's do this pink. These are like pressed pigments, so be careful. Ooh, okay, and then let's go into this purpley shade with like a gold shift in there. Wow. I can't wait to play. I literally can't wait. It doesn't really fit in here, but like it fits in there. So yeah, that's what I got from ABH. I'm kind of happy. I wish I would have my glitter to show y'all, but y'all will see it in a tutorial for sure. Try to clean up as I go so I don't make a mess. Okay. So, not packaging that back up. We're gonna put that there. But yeah, I got some good stuff from ABH. Like, I'm just excited to use it. All right, next, let's do Mac. I like the way Mac's like stuff comes. Like, it's packed with like so much love and affection. Like, this is such good paper. Like, I kind of want to reuse it. Um, this is like the MAC, the Fix Plus Spray in a mini sample. Obviously, I spent a lot of money with these places for them to be giving me free stuff. So, I got a free sample. This is a give 10, get 10, like, coupon thing. You refer a friend. Okay. I got the MAC Fix Plus. Cult favorite. Full size. How does this work? Ooh. Oh, oh, that's the sprayer. Hmm, that's refreshing. Let me lock that back actually, because I'm a klutz. So, yeah, is that the Fix Plus spray? I don't know, they had like flavors, but like I didn't want the flavors. So I just got like the original because I just wanted to try it. I got the foundation, the Studio Fix. I got the shade NC46. This looks light. This looks light. Oh man, no pump. There's no pump for this. I haven't had to like dive right in in a long time that's right yep but i'll mix it with abh or something i mean it's not bad but it's got spf in it or that gives me an excuse to go back to the website and get a darker shade because i almost got nw45 but like they were out so i was like this looks close enough which like mm, yeah, no. That's why I hate ordering foundation online. But, like, it don't look bad, I don't think. I'm trying to say it feels different. I don't know, but that was, like, $31. Should I be telling y'all the price of this stuff? I don't know. Because then you're going to be like, you spent how much? Next, we have, I bought three lip liners. So, this is Chestnut which is described as like a dark, dark, dark brown. Ooh, that's pretty. I like that. And MAC has really good lip liners, y'all. Like, if you're gonna go high end, if you wanna splurge a little bit and not spend like, if, cause you know, I love NYX, but it's like $5 for NYX. But if you feel like, you know, you wanna be a little bougie, 
Le Bourgeois. You can go to MAC. I like MAC. I also got Ruby Woo because I recently had to pick up another red lip because I ran out of my MAC Red. And I should have just ordered MAC Red, but like, I'm going to try other stuff. So that's Ruby Woo. Is this big enough for y'all? They're so creamy, y'all. Like, mm, mm, mm. So good. And then I got the infamous Cork, which is like nutmeg adjacent or like brown adjacent in NYX. Just for like your medium skin tone. So yeah, I got those three. I'm going to use chestnut when like I'm trying to like you know, have a, a moment, like a, a 90s nude moment. That's gonna be a video about my nude lips. Cause y'all know I love me a nude lip. Okay, next I have two lipsticks. I got the Retro Matte Lipstick in Bronx. Is this right? Did I order this? I don't remember picking the shade. Maybe I did, I don't know. It's a nude, so I definitely probably picked this shade. Oh, yeah, I did pick this shade. Cause it's like a mid-tone, like, taupey, like a taupey nude moment. It don't feel very matte. I love the way MAC lipstick smells. It smells so good. So that's Bronx in the retro matte lipstick. And then I got Please Me, the matte lipstick. Really, this MAC order was, like, based off a YouTube video I was watching. Ooh, it's a pinky. It's like a bubblegum pink. It's spring. I'm feeling good. And then I got, yeah, that's more. Then I got Snob Gloss, which I used to be obsessed with back in the day. I love how they changed the packaging on these. My, oh, this is a good gloss. Y'all snob on top of a nude lip. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's snob right there on the end. And then I picked up Oyster Girl. This is one of Aaliyah J favorites. It looks like this. And the tube. This is going to be beautiful. That's Oyster Girl on the bottom. So yeah, I got some, some new pinky nude lips and like just straight pink. And I got some new lip liners for spring because you know, I might want to do a little pink, be a little girly. Let's put all this back. If I do go back and get like some more stuff, do y'all want to see it or just you want me to use it? Because I don't care. I'm going to use it regardless. But I'm probably going to go back, y'all. I ain't going to lie. The way my makeup habits are, I might just go back and do a little bit more. Just a little bit more. And last but not least. We have this Yay! I told y'all I was gonna go in and I went in. I ultimately didn't buy the Yeah, I didn't buy the foundation. I had to make sure. What is this? It's so big. Okay, I didn't buy the foundation because like I have the um the matte one. But like I bought it like when it first dropped like two, what, two years ago, maybe three. It doesn't match me anymore. Like I'm way darker than I used to be. Um, so it doesn't match me anymore. And like, I don't know, like formula wasn't that great, but I also wasn't the best like makeup applicator. Like I wasn't applying it like I can now. Like uh, clearly I've evolved since two years ago with like my makeup techniques. So I just didn't know. Like I was just like, eh, I'm not gonna get it. And then like I was looking at the hydration one, the um, I don't know what it's called, the hydration one. And like it had mixed reviews for like oily skin. Like clearly I'm oily. Like my skin is shiny. Like 
I'm just a shiny girl, so I don't know. Even though I know that I use the ABH Luminous, there's a difference. There's a difference between me being hydrated and like me being luminous. Like they're not the same. Like luminous makes you look good. It makes like your like you know like a glow from within. Like hydration that means you're feeding my skin. My skin don't need to be fed. That's that's the difference. Okay. So let me show y'all what I got. So I got the honey setting powder. Just because like I don't know. I hear good things about her setting powder and like I was I didn't buy it when it came out and like I felt kind of lame so it comes with like this Fenty Beauty thing I guess sifter is that like a replacement one yeah I guess it's like a replacement one just in case I guess this one like breaks or something looks like this I think this is gonna be a banger for me like the right undertone and everything just put it on the back of my hand. So I'm gonna use this to set my under eye. She's still a little like, hmm. We'll see. But y'all know I use like Banana Deep. It's like my darkest setting powder. All the way to the Cody Airspell, which is translucent. So like she can't be. I'm like, y'all look at this packaging. Beautiful. And it's a good size. I don't know how much I pay for this, but I feel like this is a good size. I want to say I maybe pay like 30 or 20, 25. I don't know. I really don't know. So I'm going to stop guessing. So yeah. Got that. Ooh, I got the lip duo, like the three new glosses. I got Sweet Mouth. I'm excited about my Fenty order. I got Fent Sweet Mouth, which is like this light petal pink. I love the packaging. Hello, that is gorgeous. So that's Sweet Mouth. Y'all, I guess I could swatch it, huh? Mm. Now, like, this is like her newer launch. And um, the setting powder's not as been around. I just never picked it up, you know? So this is what Sweet Mouth looks like. I got a lot of glasses, huh? Yeah, I definitely did. Then this is hot chocolate. Like, look at this packaging. Like, her branding is so on point. Oh no, can she do it? Can she pull it off? Hot chocolate? Oh, baby girl, giving me 90s grunge. Mmm. And they smell the same as the other ones. It's got like a shift in there. Like, do y'all see that? Like those glitters. Beautiful. Beautiful. With like three L's. <laughs> what movie is that from? Do y'all know? If you know what movie that's from, we're best friends. And then this one is, is this one called Glass Slipper? Yeah, Glass Slipper. Which is just like your neighborhood beauty supply store clear. But with a little more oomph, that's cute packaging though. Love. I'm happy already with the glosses. The glosses look so good. The Baywatch Vivid Liners. They were on sale. And like, I'm going to do a look with this. I told you I want to do an orange look with this green. But I got pink and I got blue. The blue is called Hot Tub Club. The pink is called Techno Beet, like beet, like a vegetable. So I guess it's like purple. I don't know. And then jalapeno, but like hala. It's cute. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. I'll show y'all what these look like in the back of my hand. I don't think this is gonna be too long, but like, if it is, I'm sorry. I had a headache. Well, I have a headache slightly. And I was like, I'm gonna take a nap and then film. But then like, my body was like, girl, if you can go film this video and then um, go your butt to bed. This is jalapeno. These are like thick. I don't know if I just got like a glob or what. Ooh, I'm a fan. 
I'm trying not to make a huge mess, like, as I swatch and take this stuff out because, like, yeah, I gotta go to sleep. Man, I'm tired. Okay, that's beat, whatever it's called. Techno beat. That's cute. And let's look at this hot tub club. It's blue. Wow, these look so good on my skin tone. They're neon, like for real. This is gorgeous. Yes, so I'm excited to use these. I'm gonna make sure they're closed all the way so I'm gonna dry it out. I make sure they close tight. You hear me? Tight. Open them up. Give me a second. I'm wiping it off as I go because. Dang, me stain my hand already. I mean, I ain't even tripping, but like that was quick. So let's see. Next, I got, I don't want to do that. Next, I got the uncensored lip. That's why I was telling y'all I got Ruby Woo lip liner to line for my uncensored because I just ran out of my MAC Red. So the applicator is dope. So cute. Ooh, this is a red one. So yeah, my MAC Red, which is like my staple, just ran out. And like, I've, I've worn MAC Red for years. Like, since I started wearing makeup for real. It's just always been, like, MAC, y'all, has always been near and dear to my heart. Like, it's the first, like, luxury brand I ever started wearing, like, when I was, a freshman in college and I like, had my own first job and I would just take my little Winn-Dixie check y'all and run to the MAC counter and buy one lipstick a week literally I still have a lot of those too but I know they're expired it's just like for sentimental keeping clearly but yeah like I used to love MAC and that's when MAC was that girl I feel like nobody talk about MAC no more but MAC used to be that chick packaging hello Look at this. This is gorgeous. This better not have no mirror in it. If it has a mirror in it, I'm going to lose my mind. It's got a freaking mirror in it. Oh. Yo, this is gorgeous. This is a, is this, oh, I can touch it. I thought I had paper over it. It's paper over the mirror, though. This is the Cheeks Out Cream Cream bronzer, beautiful, beautiful. I feel like I should've got chocolate though. Like, is this gonna do what I want it to do? Is this bronzed on my hand? I mean, yeah. I'm gonna go back for, um. I don't know what the deeper one is. I think maybe chocolate and see like what that looks like. No, no, no. I'm doing a first impressions video. I was, my, I ain't got no makeup on. I was so tempted to just, and try it right here and right now. But I'm not doing it. That. that is another video. I'm trying to like make myself realize like how much content I have. And then, I told y'all I went in. I told you. I got, <laughs> I got five of the new Bra uh, blushes. Are these cheeks out too? Yeah, cheeks out. Freestyle cream blushes. Y'all want some some swatches? Or should I save this for first impressions? I guess with the first impressions, I'm going to use like one shade though. So like, I might as well packaging. If this little bitty blush has a mirror, <laughs> how freaking cute this is rose latte Ooh, be careful when you dig because you can get it on your comb pad my big old finger so this is kind of what color i expected my um bronzer to be but this is rose latte rubbed in that's pretty they're so soft 
Ooh, 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 ooh. Pretty. Okay, let's do. Do you want us to do all of them or just a couple more? We'll see how I feel. Might as well do all of them, right? Just so I know which one I want to work with for my first impressions video. Next, we're going to do Bikini Martini. It has a little name on the back. These are so cute. They're smaller than I thought, like for $20, but bam. Ooh, it's like Candy Yum Yum. Y'all know Candy Yum Yum by Mac? That's what this is giving me. Let's just start a row. That's Bikini Martini. Gorgeous. These are soft. I can tell they're blendable already. And then let's go in with Strawberry Drip. Ooh, I'm excited about this one, y'all. Like, for real. I got a little cute IG TV thing I want to do with this one, I think. I think. I always think I know what I want to do. And then, like, this time, I'm like, I don't want to do that one. This is pretty. They're, like, balmy and, like, soft and, like, moisturizing. Like, is this skincare or blush? Like, I'm confused. But this is strawberry dip, drip, strawberry drip. Cute, cute, cute. And then let's do, I need to keep these in order. And then now let's do daiquiri dip. Like this one's, a, I think it's like a richer red, like a cherry, like a daiquiri, clearly. So. Ooh, yes. It's hot. Love this. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Yes. Maybe I'm going to do my IGTV on this one. I don't know. I mean, mine as well. What is this? Oh, I show you. That's daiquiri dip. That's beautiful is what that is. That's beautiful. And then now we're going to do Petal Poppin. Last but not least. Do y'all want me to go back and do Rose Latte so you can see it? Ooh, Petal Poppin. It's like a peachy, a peachy moment. I mean, I ain't mad at the $20. Because, like, if I'm digging and swirling and, like, building that up, like, that's not using a lot of product. This is petal popping. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm gonna go back into a uh, rose latte real quick. Is there a thick? No, it's not. Go ahead, man. I'll go back into rose latte real quick so y'all can see it next to the other ones. Oh, that's not rose latte. Where'd it go? Over here at the bottom. This is cute though, like for everyday type of, I don't know, when you want to go darker with your blush and not be so, like, girly, I guess. Let's use this finger. And then I'm going to put Rose Latte down here by Bikini Martini because I showed that one first. So that's Rose Latte, Bikini Martini, Strawberry Drip, Daiquiri Dip, and Petal Poppin'. I didn't get the ones with shimmer because, no, I have texture on my skin. And like, I don't know if y'all know, but glitter enhances texture. So if you have pores on your face, if you have pimples, do not wear a lot of glittery stuff. It just enhances and magnifies it. Don't do that to yourself. Do not play yourself. It does not look good. So I got like the creamy products. Um, because I have like major texture here which is where I apply blush so it doesn't make sense to get something that will enhance my I mean makeup's just to like, make you look better not like a clown unless it's you know editorial but yeah that was my haul I got good stuff right I can't wait to use all this stuff and I think I need a little bit more okay okay I need I want a little bit more Maybe a deeper foundation for MAC. And I should have picked up some powder blushes. Genie69 loves their powder blushes. And I need to try it. 
So like I might pick up like two or three of those because I'm oily, so I need to set these creams. Even though I already have blushes in the back, that's besides the point. That's how I'm rationalizing. So yeah, ABH, MAC. Hmm, I'm happy. Well, thank you guys for watching. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what y'all want to see me use first. What did you pick up? Have you picked up anything? Are you trying the fancy stuff? Like, come on, innovation, new ideas. The makeup community hasn't been shook like this in a minute. Like, this is new. This is improved. Like, this is luxury. I'm happy. I'm happy. So, I'll see you guys next time.